All right, guys, this is the first of many, hopefully, um, voiceovers that I'm gonna do on a few videos throughout my training towards Ironman Bustleton. Here's a good example of how quickly your lactate can improve. I guess if you've got a, a base already um, and you get over some sickness, which I did after the Canadian Open, we, we took this lactate four weeks out from sunny coast and then we did it again two weeks later and there was drastic improvements. So I just wanted you guys to all see the first initial test. It's, a, it's like a ramp test or a step test, six minutes um, at each power and you go up 15 watts each power until you reach. Uh, where well you go to threshold or you can go a bit further just to see exactly where you're at. Um, so we did, we, we went to like, uh, I think seven millimole, um, which happened pretty quickly. Um, I had no tolerance at this point. Hadn't really got enough training in yet. Um, so yeah, as you can see there, uh, my aerobic threshold is two millimole, so it's 250 at this point. And two weeks later, only two weeks later, I moved that up to about 270 watts. So I was still pedaling aerobically at 270. Whereas here, um, I got to my threshold at 295. Um, and that would have moved up a fair bit just before Sunny Coast 2 with the kind of specific training that we started doing. And yeah, it's funny. Um, how quickly things can improve, but I do look forward to doing more of these videos. Um, the, the point will be to learn more about lactate, um, and if anyone feels educated by it as well, sweet. Um, but I've got Busso Ironman coming up, and I basically just want to get my two millimole uh, reading up as high in power as I can, so that I can go into that race, push two millimole, and run really well.